Hola, and she is here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, a big welcome. If you're home, welcome to remember before you leave, subscribe to the notification button. That's when a video pops up, you're first to see it. Anyway, a little info about my channel. Yeah, it's cooking with Tashina. So I will be showing a lot of different ways of cooking with Tashina. And on the inner end, it's a theatrical board. I was showing a lot of skits, a little plays, a little videos to keep your company. So stick around and see what's cooking today. So what's cooking? Oh, fried chicken, rice and peas, and steamed veg. Stick around, guys. Remember, subscribe, give me a like, <laughs> and the notification button. Okay, the chicken, I'm going to wash the chicken. Got the vinegar. Vinegar. We have to get it all clean and fresh. And then I pour my water. I wash it up from the sink. So I'm in the cold. I'm washing the chicken. See, I think it's such a well clean. I wash out the blood and all these things. Clean it up, clean it up. Stay clean. So I got my peas here to clean. Yeah, I'm cooking up the peas. Cooking up the peas. It's not regular red peas enough. So don't mind the peas. I'm going to do the chash. And yeah, cooking up the peas. In a while, wash. I'm ready. I got my all purpose maggi and I got my chicken maggi and my black pepper. So that's it. Most people don't like when I'm under it, but me like when my chicken is well seasoned. So I get my hand in there and I rub it in. I can see I'm rubbing it and I'm making one missing. Rub it seal and rub it seal. Rub it seal. White chicken well seasoned. Bone heart and well seasoned. Well seasoned. Then I'll leave this for about an hour or two. Go on more in a minute. Red beef is well seasoned. It tastes nice and all these things. There you go. I'll leave this for about a hour, 45 minutes. Okay, that's my oil started bubbling. So I've got a little cinnamon pan, a garlic, a pepper. Yeah, that is one, you know, fry them up. Yeah, so the oil is getting ready for the chicken. Chicken one. My chicken is marinating, it's still soaking, it's still a little pretty, a little pretty. Anyway, and then this is my flour with seasoning. I like to put it mine in butter because I like it with a well seasoning. So I like to put it in the bag. So this is a good wrap bag. So I'm gonna show you what I did. And people, if you don't have any milk or any hair, you still can fry chicken. You don't have to have those things to have a nice clean fried chicken. So stick around for more. I is getting ready. Flour bag is getting ready. So here go my chicken all floured up. You see why I put this in the bag? Because it get all the flour all over it. It is well seasoning in the flour bag. So I put it in the bag and I like it. Yes. So yes, yes guys, some of the chicken in the pot. But you know what I do? <clears throat> I like my pocket to the bird. Let's pull me back. Ready to see? So, yeah. I cover my pot so that my chicken can steam in the meantime when it's frying. So that's the reason I'm covering the pot. So the chicken cook faster. So the color don't change and the chicken like for example, the chicken gonna burn fast. Turn color fast and the inside don't cook. I don't like raw meat. So let's steam up my one first. This side we have my peas. Remember, it's not raw red, it's not short red, not mega red. It's just a regular peas, and it's a red peas, but it's kind of white. 
But anyway, otherwise than that, it still gives my pot a little color. So I have my seasoning in there, my pepper, my coconut milk, and my scallion, my thyme. Yes, but if you could smell the wow, if you could smell it, man. So yeah, so after I cover my pot on uh, like ten five minutes on each side, like I would mix turn it like every five minutes and cover it and make it cook. After that five ten minutes after ten minutes of doing the both sides, five minutes each, I will take the lid off and I will allow my chicken to get its color now. So this is the process that my chicken is gonna get its color. So this when it gets in its color now I do have to fret so it don't cook inside the bowl don't cook because I already steam it steam fried now but now I'm, I'm allowing it to fry itself and get its color stay tuned so I go ahead and add my rice so yes this is the rice and peas hot well seasoning the, the smell does smell good I can't explain all the scent I'm getting from this pot. Well seasoned. So I'm gonna cook the rice now and stay tuned. See? My chicken already getting its color. Yes, it's getting its color. So I'm just alone in it. So get some more color and the fry up a little more. Yes, and I turn down the stove because I don't want it to burn. Okay, yeah, so this is the finishing touch. The finishing step for for a set of chicken that get, go into the pot. Yes, yeah, so, so them brown and crispy and nice. Yes, yeah, so this is the first set. I did. All I did is the same process. Same process. Put it in the bag, shake it, shake it, then cook it in the pot, and then I'm gonna cover it again for my second set second set so they're coming along just the same just the same coming along yeah i do the same process and these are burning fast so i guess i don't have to this is what happens if when the stove turn up too high it tends to get the color quick without the chicken cook so that's the reason i say turn on the stove and do your thing. Chicken is ready to dig in. It's ready, ready, ready. So guys, yes, this is my steamed bread. So I'm just gonna have a little butter, black pepper and salt and that's it for my steamed bread. This is, a, this is the butter that I use, chiffon butter, you can use any other butter. Look at it. Look at it already. Yeah. Hey guys, thank you for sticking around. This is the finishing touch. Thank you for watching Cooking, cooking with Tashina. Yes, I will tell you how it is. Thank you for sticking around, guys. I actually start because I just could wait. Look, look at the texture. Look, is it no blood or anything? It's well cooked. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Come on, so easy. Mm. You have to come to my wall. So stay tuned. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know mm -hmm. what the thing is cooking. Remember to give this video a like, share with your friends, yeah, share the love. Thank you for watching.